Everyone, there's three questions with Megan and Kara. Did you know? Did you know I had music? Because I know you don't listen to my podcast. <laughs> All right, I was just having a wonderful uh, conversation before. This is one of my favorite things to do. I love I love doing the podcast, but I actually just I love the before the podcast, and it's just nice to get to know. I, we haven't met officially, but just wait, we did. Sorry, we did. We met in Denver. This is Megan and Kara from Integrated. Integrated Ed. Integrated. Right. Integrated. <laughs> nice job. Right. And uh, I, I'm looking forward to kind of digging into what that means, uh, some of the work that you're doing. But before we do that, we're going to do the three questions podcast. And uh, I know you're, you're both from, you're both in Wyoming before we can kind of get into that, right? Correct. How is Wyoming? We're recording this at the end of May. How's Wyoming right now at the end of May? It's it very like? rainy and very cold mm-hmm. right now. We're actually very surprised it's not snowing. <laughs> oh, it's like basically living in Canada. That's like, yeah. that's basically what it is. But hey, I'm going to be, I'm going to actually be in Wyoming. We talked about this. I'll be with your, mm-hmm. is it Campbell County? Is it yes. Campbell yes. County? Yeah. So yep. hey, a little shout out to Campbell County. <laughs> Did you know I had sounds? Did you know I, I had sounds? That's right, perfect. perfect. Yeah, so I'm looking forward to joining you. But hey, let's, we're going to start with three questions. And uh, I asked uh, before we even started, who wants to do which one? So Megan, we're going to start with you. And you think about, I know that you're doing some really incredible work in, in Wyoming. And just, just by talking to you, I, I love the philosophy that the both of you have. And so when you think about your own teaching career, and you think about a teacher that inspired you, who is a teacher that sticks out and why? Yeah, so um, she was my first grade teacher. Um, her name is Pat Parks. And then um, she was my cooperating teacher, actually student taught underneath of her. And from first grade to my first year teaching with her, she has always built those relationships with the students. And she just always had this warm, loving and the smile on her face. And so I just remember thinking to myself, I'm going to be like her. Mm-hmm. So she's my, she's definitely, she's still my rock star because she'll text every now and then and say, look at the cool things you're doing. I can't wait to see more. So this is, this is Pat Parks and you still, Parks. guess what Pat Parks, you got a shout out horn. So, okay. Tell me, tell me like how, 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 what's some of the things like, do you ever like teach in your class? You do things and you're like, that's something, that's something Pat Parks used to do. Like, do you ever yeah. do that? Well, so she used to sharpen pencils. She would have the kids bring up two pencils and she would have this like mini conversation with them every morning. And I don't think it was about the pencil sharpening at all. It was definitely about building those relationships. And so that's kind of like my goal almost every day. Just like, how are you doing? How was your night? You know, what, what do you got going on coming up? And, you know, just kind of that, those little things, getting to know the students a lot more than just, you know, by their name. So what are, like you, there's there's some I can't, I like there's some method I can't remember what it's called it like it is just eluding me and it was basically just talking about having like a couple of minutes with kids like each every day and how big of a difference that makes and that's such a that's such a I, yeah. I, I don't know it's it just seems, it's like it seems I think a lot of people listen to that and it seems insignificant but it's so big Do you know what I mean it's like so it's huge. such a powerful thing I love that so that's pretty that's pretty cool it's actually um and i think one of the things we might talk about in the other podcast it's kind of interesting because you know um we we are both we're all into innovation but you took a really traditional practice from one of your teachers and you carried on and it's like it's not tradition versus innovation but it's like always doing what's best for our kids and like if that worked you know when you were a kid and then and it can work for our kids today then we we got to keep doing it so i i love that story so kara you think about I put you on the spot here, right? Because like the admin question is sometimes a little bit tough. I sometimes I've had I've never had an administrator inspire me, so I know you <laughs> how one, right. So if you think about an administrator that you know had an impact on you, whether as a kid, whether as a an educator, who's someone that really stuck out to you and why? Um, honestly, it's has to be my administrator right now that we are currently. I knew, I knew you're going with. there. <laughs> Um, you and watch, watch tomorrow, and, you're going to get an email with like an extra like PD budget and stuff like that. <laughs> um, but truly, honestly, um, he, he is just, first of all, he's a great guy. He is all about making sure that the staff is taken care of first, 
whether it's, you know, anything that you need to do your job or whether it's in your personal life for family. He always says, you know, you come first, your family comes first. And so that's been made a really big impact because mm. we have known many others that are, um, you've that's heard, not the you've, case. You've heard of them. You've heard <laughs> yeah. of them. Yeah, heard of them, you know, but um, and so that's just made a really big impact. And it just really um, creates that sense of, you know, community in the building and that, you know, it's not just going to a job, but mm -hmm. we're, you know, building a family within our building itself. Um, and then he his support with, you know, um, giving us the freedom to um, teach the way we feel need, we need to be able to reach mm -hmm. our kids. He gives us that freedom. Um, the support he provides with resources or financially or anything like that. He is, he does whatever he can to um, support us and to do what's best for kids. So mm -hmm. um, I would say he is probably the one that's impacted me the most as an administrator. What's his name? We gotta give a little shout out. His name is Rory Williams. <laughs> Rory. There you go. That's pretty good. So, so. you know, there's actually, um, this is going to sound weird. Sometimes when I ask people like, um, how, how's your principal? And they'll say, Oh, they're really nice. Yeah. And I'll be like, Oh, that's it. That's all you got. And sometimes that's like, kind of, it's a little bit of a red flag. Do you know what I mean? Like if, mm -hmm. and, and I, I like, I, I was like, please be more, please be more to this. Right. <laughs> Cause I, I think like, Hey, it's great to have someone who cares, you know, like is easy going stuff like that. I've had administrators that were like the nicest people ever but did not make me a better teacher. And yep. sometimes their sometimes their niceness actually got in mm -hmm. trouble when it came to like, you know, parent conversations and stuff like that. Cause they were like nice to everybody. Mm -hmm. And I think yeah. part of it too, and I, I, I loved how you said this, is that when someone like administrators, I, it always, I've always struggled with this idea that it's like, oh, they let me do whatever I want. And it's like, well, that's not really what this should be doing. There's, there's, there's gotta be some autonomy, but some direction too. Like I want an administrator that makes me better. Cause if they don't, then eventually I'm going to go because I need to like grow. Right. And I, I really appreciate that, you know, both of those elements are there because I think sometimes it's, it's one or the other. And sometimes it's someone who's pushing you and you're like, look, this person's pushing me because, the, but I don't think they actually care about me at all. Right. Mm -hmm. And it's a lot harder to like, you know, trust that feeling when you're having that too. Right. Cause it seems like they might be doing it for the wrong reasons. All right. I love it. So last question this is going to go both to you. And I actually, I'll start with you, Megan. Great. You go back to your first year of teaching and you go back to Megan and say like, what were you doing? <laughs> right. Cause we all got those moments. We like, do. What, what advice would you give to your first year teacher self? Yeah. And I, you know, you hear that a lot and gosh, I, you know, p teachers will say, I feel bad for my first group of kids. Right. You know, we, you hear it a lot and, you know, in a sense, you know, I probably, you know, better, you do better, but you know, um, just to have, fun and enjoy, enjoy them. They bring their best selves every day. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, and just to remember that they're, they're doing what they can in that moment. Um, and are you, just, talking, are you talking students or teachers? Yeah. Or? You know, the students. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Teachers too. We're doing the best we can. Right. Um, you know, just those students and then, you know, to just, you know, keep just smiling, doing your best. Yeah, and the, the the thing that I think is really important is that even when we maybe struggle, we can still make a massive impact as long as we care about the kids, right? And I think that's, that's a really important thing. So, Kara, what's what 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 advice would you give to your first year teacher self? That that's a hard one. I will say, my first year teaching, I had major teacher burnout, and I about quit at Christmas because it was okay, wow. it was yeah it was pretty bad. I guess one thing that I learned over time is leave it at school, <laughs> right. uh, like whether it's like the physical stuff or whatever, but um, some of the emotional you can't, I mean, you carry those kids with you wherever you go, but um, just, you know, the test will be there on your desk in the morning to grade or, right. you know, the, or give some kid give the kids some of it to help you. So like I taught kinder my first year teaching. And so, you know, have them help you with, um, you know, like if you're doing some type of activity, like let them help you prepare for that, like, right. and give some of the, give some ownership to them, not just solely relying on you. Like, it's not just a one person show, like you're right. a part of a team and, um, in your classroom and a part of a team within your grade level itself. So that was one big thing that I had to 
learn my first year because I, I was glad you weren't gonna say yeah i almost quit in christmas and i wish it could i would have <laughs> Like I'm, glad no, I was I, a, I was, I'm definitely glad I uh, pushed yeah. through, but I, that was definitely uh, eye-opening because I didn't think that would ever happen to right. me. And there I was a couple months in oh, and I, ready I started, to be done. I, I had a job um, right out of like, you know, I was actually not even finished my exams. I got a special exemption because they needed a teacher. Um, so I was like, I had the last three months I took over from someone. And I swear there was like a 30 minute drive. And I know this is not true, but like when I look back on that, I swear I drove like 30 minutes and just played like everybody hurts by REM and cried <laughs> the entire time. Like it was like, everybody. That's how I just, I felt that was like, you know, it was like, it's hard. It's hard. And you, and you do take things personally when you shouldn't. And, you know, yeah. a lot of times kids are, you know, they act like, you know, goofballs because. Yeah. It's nothing to do with you. Something else is going on, but yeah. you're just the closest person. And a lot of times, you know, if you think about like a relationship, we're often hardest on the people that, you know, we know yeah, uh, we will forgive us the next day. Do you know what I mean? And yeah. that's, uh, that's a tough thing, but I, I loved it. I can't wait to talk to you more. Um, Megan Kara, it's been awesome to get to know you. And uh, I hope um, you can check out both their social media and integrated uh, as well. But thank you so much for being on the podcast. I'm looking forward to talking to you more. So thanks for being on. Thank, thank you. you. 